right folks what I've got in front of me uh, is the exterior valve of the Hudson Gladius and the lane regulator now no matter what I've been trying to do I keep getting leaks from it but now I've just realized why I might be getting these leaks on the face of the valve you'll see the o-ring and that is supposed to seal on the on the brass problem I've just found I, had, I never noticed this before because what I was doing I was putting the uh, regulator in the rifle and then screwing the valve on but what you find is when you make them together you can see that that is too wide to fit inside which it should be doing so it's not getting the seal <clears throat> so instead of the uh, obviously that's not all tight my top but instead of getting a, a seal uh, between the regulator and the valve uh, hang on a minute just get this out which should resemble that I'm not you're getting a slight gap like that so the air's escaping from this it's going over the top and leaking out so that's what's been causing the leaks and I never realized it until now so uh, I've had this before and I never realized that's what the problem was but if you look at the actual Uh, bit there you don't fit inside so the only the only thing I can think of doing is uh, sanding that off until it does uh, like I say I've had I've had a couple of uh, regulators and it didn't work it's kept leaking I couldn't understand what it was well I've found out what it is now because once that's made it seal in the valve like that the only place that is going to go is in the valve and the valve itself it's got the degasser on this at the moment the valve itself is closed so any air that's in here will stay in there until the hammer hits the valve opens the valve the air comes in and basically that's it so uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, take some off the edge of that until the regulator fits over it, creating a good seal, and then I'll try it again. Uh, so I was thinking it was somehow getting it over this valve, over this uh, O-ring, but I can see now it's not all it's doing is going into the regulator and just leaking at that point there and going straight over the uh, threads and that so uh, I'll sand that down till it fits within the reg and then we'll try it again but I'm hoping that is it and if that is the case we'll, uh, we'll be back in business again uh, space has just come out there but, uh, Got a spacer in there for uh, the actual reg. Just there. And the spring fits inside. That keeps tension on the uh, valve stem so the air can't uh, get out until the, the actual hammer opens it. So then, let's. Uh, Get on with the modification on the uh, actual valve cap. Uh, I'll send this to Robert Lane so he realises what what the problem is. Because he won't know. But that, that's the problem. The actual end cap is uh, too big to go inside, so it's not creating that face-to-face -face seal that it should be doing there. What we have got, it's just doing that. 
and allowing the air to escape. So uh, that's the update on the Atson Gladius. So if you've got one that seems to be leaking when you try it, check to make sure that the uh, the valve end cap will fit within the actual regulator. Okay, as you can see, using the uh, sandpaper, I've rubbed the actual uh, end cap down. And we've now got a tight seal. So I'll put it in the rifle and uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, folks, all this time I've been scratching my head over this bloody air cylinder and the uh, the actual uh, lane regulator, the Lancet regulator, thinking there was a problem with the cylinder. And it's a problem with me, really, for not checking it sooner. Uh, what I've been doing, like most people that would probably get a regulator, is just follow the instructions, put the regulator in the rifle, followed by the valve. Well, what I didn't realise was that uh, the, the valve wasn't making a seal with the uh, the regulator because of that uh, end cap on the valve was being too big to fit inside the uh, regulator so I've taken the uh, valve cap off, I've sanded it down, it now fits inside just filled it up to 200 bar, I can't uh, hear any leaks so uh, what I'll do now I'll, uh, I'll do the test through the uh, through a glass of water just to make sure it's not leaking. Uh, so I've got my glass of water, filled it up to 200 bar. Look at that, no leaks. So if you've got a regulator, you're fitting it to the rifle, especially the Hatson and it's got an end cap like that, make sure it fits inside the regulator and you'll get no leaks. It's just a matter of rubbing it down with sandpaper. So brilliant, so all I need to do now is start tuning it. Get lots of shots from uh, from Atson anyway, but uh, what I'm hoping now is uh, that we can uh, even that shot count out. So uh, thanks for watching, hope this has been useful because uh, I'm, I'm sure there's been all the people with the same problem but that's what it is so we'll catch you soon <laughs>